Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and watching the video. And I found something that I only found three other times in 11 years of detecting. So it's a wonderful find. It's very, very rare. I'm so happy I found it. And uh, so, hey, I'm not going to show it to you right now, but I'll show it to you at the wrap up. So I'll see you at the wrap up. Alright, I'm getting a good signal here. Anywhere from a 42 to a 45 loud and strong. Sounds like a stainless ring, perhaps. Let's see. Yep, I just saw it right there. Check that out, guys. Alright, out the lake today. Got a few signals already. This is my first really good signal here and uh, comes up being a ring, a pretty nice ring. It's gonna be a stainless steel one. Um, I was at work today and on my way through this lake, happened to be here, just happened to be here. So I thought I'd bring my stuff and get in the lake anyway and uh, find a ring or two. So uh, maybe there's something, something else out here. This has always been a real good honey hole for me. And so maybe I'll find a few things. Only got a couple hours to, to detect because I got a long drive home. So uh, let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can get. doing out here. Let's see if we can go down and get it. Well, it's not going to be a ring. We'll check it out. Found me a cross. Well, what I thought was going to be a stainless steel ring ended up being a stainless steel dog tag. Looks like it has the Lord's Prayer on it and a cross. So, Preacher Digger got his cross. Alright, there's a lot of change out here. A lot of bottle caps, full tabs. A lot of those targets, but there's no rings hardly. Just that one ring. And uh, no other necklaces or anything else. So, maybe they're a little bit out deeper. So, I'm, I'm working my way that way. So, let's keep swinging. Let's see if we can get some more rings in the, in the uh, pocket today. Let's keep swinging. I don't know if you can see that. 61, 62, 66, 67. I'm only about waist deep. I'm going to go down here and get it by my hand. Hopefully the camera will stay under. Oh, boy. Well, just about waist deep water. I just reached down there. I just dug up a piece of foil right beside this is kind of a mixed signal so I wasn't filming live and until it hit the 60 I got that first target out of the way and then this thing started hitting up 60 66 something like that and uh, reached down there and uh, got a little necklace now here's a little trivia which James Bond movie would this most likely represent the first one that can uh, comment the answer correctly is going to win a preacher digger sticker which James Bond movie does this one correctly represent? All right, let's keep swinging. Let's see if we can't find us a gold ring. All right, getting a 45. It's about ankle deep water. Oh, it's gonna be a rainbow stainless steel ring. Well, before I go on the deep, I thought I would hit the shallow just a little bit and uh, go up to the truck and get me a drink. And I'm glad I did. Hey, got another stainless steel ring here. Not gold and not silver, but uh, it's another ring. 
So I'll hit this shallow a little bit later on. I'm going to go work the deep and then come in the shallow and dry off a little bit. All right, let's keep swinging. Let's go to the deep now. Let's see what we can get out there. I got like a 36 here. Be an earring. Be a chain. Pretty muddy. Nope. Check that out. It could be silver. It's a broken circuit there, you know, loop. So it's going to jump up and up and down. And plus it's thin, so that's going to make it ring different too. So uh, I don't know. We'll have to get back and see if we can't clean it up. It's been in the lake a while. It's corroded up. And so let's uh, keep swinging. That's about waist deep now. I'm going to go out the chest deep, see what else we can find. So let's keep swinging. It's a jumpy 66. Is it going to be a tungsten ring? All right, I got the scoop. Slimy out here. I don't see nothing yet. Oh, there it is, right there. Out, guys. I got the Grim Reaper. Now, you know what this is? This is called Saint Death, or Saint, if I say my Spanish right, Saint Muerta, which means Saint Death. Now, it's not Catholic. The Catholic Church doesn't recognize this as a saint, and so uh, they kind of disown that. But people who are perhaps were Catholic and have fallen out of favor of the church, you know, perhaps they were criminals or something like that. They wear this as a, um, as a saint to protect them, you know, protect them from, you know, whatever. But a lot of people don't openly wear it. What I've been reading, what I've read about it, they actually cover it up. People don't want them to know. But anyway, it's not really uh, recognized in the Catholic church and uh, found upon. And, and so, but that's kind of what I read. So it's a uh, Saint Death, Saint Moretta. And so I definitely wouldn't wear it myself. But anyway, it's, uh, it's something I can put in the oddity display. So I'm out here about chest deep water. Bring it up at 66. So let's keep swinging and see what else is out here. Then we'll work the shallows before we go home. All right, let's keep swinging. I'm getting a 58 here. Too loud and too high to be a pull cut. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Well, getting that 50, 58 and uh, end up, I think it's a tungsten ring. I can't, I think it says tungsten. It's uh, too heavy for a titanium and rings a little too high for a titanium. So I'm gonna call it tungsten. I'll let you know in the video right here what it's gonna be. But about waist deep water, just going out deep, coming back in and uh, seems like it's paying off. So let's keep doing it, see what else we can get. Well, I moved on to a new lake. All the other lakes I've been hitting have been bust. There's just no rings whatsoever, hardly, except that one lake. I've hit many others, but just nothing there. So I went up to a new place. So hopefully this is gonna pay off. So I'm here. Let's get in the water. Let's keep swinging. Maybe we're gonna find us some good treasures. So let's get going. Getting a 94, 95. up to a 98 consistent consistent this is gonna be a big silver ring or something something big all right let's see what's gonna be yeah. check that out guys well I was right it was something big all right 
Uh, it was a walking liberty half dollar. I mean, how often do you come to a swim area and dig a silver 1941 walking liberty half dollar? I'll take it though. That's just as good as a silver ring. So let's keep swinging. Let's see what else is going to be in here. Getting a 60 up to a 72. Jumping around. It sounds like it's going to be a ring. Like a tungsten. First yeah, that's going to be a nice find, just about shin deep water and uh, lots of change, lots of pull tabs, lots of bottle caps. So I know this hasn't been hunted, so this could be a good spot today. I've dug, uh, this is my first ring and dug a few other things I haven't shown on the video, but you'll see them at the wrap up. Anyway, I like this first ring of the day. Let's see how many more we can get. Let's keep swinging. Getting a 50, 51. I was getting a 50-51, and uh, I'm going to look down here at this little silver ankle bracelet. Now, maybe there was a charm on it, so I'm going to search around here see if I can find that charm as well. If I do, I'll show it to you. If not, we're going to keep on swinging. Getting a 60. Yeah, there it is. about waist deep water getting a good 60 real jumpy static 60 and uh ends up being a silver chain i'll take that i mean it's a silver half dollar a silver chain now i just need a silver uh, ring don't i so far i think i got one silver on this video i got a couple uh, uh stainless got one titanium one tungsten no gold or silver so let's keep swinging for that gold or silver see if we can get one let's keep on going I was getting a real jumpy signal, and uh, I don't know if this is a broken earring or is it a broken ring. I gotta wait till the wrap up. I'll get a little closer look at it and see what it is. Oh well, by the time you watch this video, you are gonna know what it is. But uh, anyway, uh, that's maybe a ring. Hopefully, gold. It's gold, whatever it is. All right, let's keep swinging and see if we can't find us a silver. Well, I made it back in from the lakes this week. Went out today. Got out early start this morning and uh went on a little road trip and had a real good time i uh, went to one lake three different places only one place really found anything but hey what i found was pretty good uh had a great time uh found a lot of good stuff it started out real slow i hit what you haven't seen in this video is a lot of lakes that i, I went to and didn't find anything I, I think i probably went to eight lakes and probably six of them I didn't find a single thing yet or maybe just one thing I don't know not much at all there's just not a lot out there schools back in session and once that starts up you know the next big hurrah is going to be Labor Day uh, after Labor Day so I got one more video after this one I'll be doing uh, at the Labor Day video and then I'll be wrapping it up and getting ready to head off to England here coming up in October but anyway I got everything laid out on the tailgate so let me spin you around let me show you what I found on this video Here's all my trash, all the metal junk stuff, some glasses and a hairpin thing, some fishing weights and fishing lures, aluminum things, all the common things that you dig. But I always like to show the trash to let you see that uh, in order to get a lot of this stuff, you got to get all that stuff too. Uh, I ended up getting a pair of goggles, a couple of kids' bracelets, magnetic bracelets. I got one, two, three toy cars. I got a spoon, stainless steel spoon. I got a whole packet of, of uh, fishing tackle there. Check that out. End up getting, getting a lot. A couple pair of uh, glasses, uh, some reading glasses there, or prescription glasses and some sunglasses. A live 45 hollow point. A dog tag. 76642. Where's that at? Uh, haven't even looked on there. Grosbeck. Grosbeck, uh, fishing um, hook, and then I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars and twenty-five cents in quarters. Let's see, I got five, ten, fifteen, twenty-three dimes. I got five, ten, thirteen nickels, and five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-eight pennies. So a lot of coins there on this trip out. I got one of those ear gauges. I got a bunch of hoop earrings, some little silver 
uh, charm and another little happy birthday charm uh, there. Uh, you couldn't find the bracelet that they went on, but I did find that bracelet. And I did find that all-seeing eye hand. I don't like those things. That just looks wicked to me. A couple of uh, pendants that I found. I found like a, is that an Uzi? I don't know what that is. Gold diamond blinged out Uzi. And check this out, guys. Woo! Woo! I found the Grim Reaper. Ah, uh, yeah. I did a little study on this. And it's not actually the Grim Reaper. It's actually called St. Muerto. I think that's how you say it. Saint Muerto. I'm out of, my Spanish is not very good. And translated in English means Saint Death. And um, it's not Catholic jewelry, but a lot of Catholics wear it, or ex-Catholics, I should say. Those that the church doesn't uh, approve of, or they've lived a really hard life, or something like that. These people uh, come to this Saint Death, and uh, they're supposed to protect them and provide for them. And a lot of the Catholics that I have read, I could be wrong. If you're Catholic, you can correct me in the comments. Uh, they don't really wear this openly, outwardly. They, uh, so a lot of them wear them in, underneath their clothing uh, because it's kind of frowned upon on the Catholic Church. But uh, that's just my little brief history that I read about that. But I wanted to know a little bit more uh, what this is uh, because it's a religious item. Um, but it's called Saint Muerto. And uh, so... I found two of these. This is my second one. I'll put it right here beside the Lord's Prayer, the cross, uh, dog tag. I did get a silver necklace, a little thin one. And then I got a big silver chain here. It is 925. 925. And then check this out, guys. How often do you dig a silver half dollar in the lake? 1943 silver half dollar i couldn't believe it. it was ringing up on the at pro the at pro rings up to a 99 it was hitting at a 98 but a 94 95 to a 98 i thought it was a big silver ring i wasn't expecting uh walking liberty to come out of there this is actually my third half dollar my second walking liberty that i've dug out of a lake i've also dug a quarter a washington quarter out of the lake but i also dug a one ounce silver round uh, Silver Eagle out of the lake too. What's that doing there? I don't know. I dug it out of the same uh, area that I dug that my first Walking Liberty. But hey, I'll take that. That's a big silver right there. I don't. You don't dig out of 13 years of detecting in the water. I've only dug three of those, so they're very, very rare. Here are my rings on this trip. There's a broken ring here. The top of it. I thought it was going to be gold. The top's broken off. It's just junk. I got a rainbow stainless steel ring, another stainless steel ring. I thought this was a stainless steel ring until I got into some light and looked at it and it says titanium on it. So I got a titanium ring and then I got a very nice tungsten ring and then a very old corroded silver heart ring. I'm going to see how well I can clean that up in just a little bit once I get it all inside. But anyway, had a, uh, a six ring trip. And uh, silver half dollar, silver chains, and uh, pretty good, pretty good hunt. So there's all the trash, and there's all the treasure. And like I say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out to the lake and find and put on your tailgate and uh, show the world. The greatest treasure, my friends, is what's found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.